morning to our YouTube family. Um, so this morning we're gonna do something a little different. I'm here with Luke, and we are gonna be telling you guys a little bit about CTC Math. I've been using this with Luke for about a month now, and so far he's really loved it. Um, I have looked at the fourth grade level, and it's it's uh, great. I mean, it's it's up there as where our fourth grade level should be. But for today, I want to talk to you mainly about the first grade level because that's kind of where we've been the whole time. So I'm going to give you a, just a peek on this. But before I do, I'm going to ask Luke. Luke, how do you like this map? What do you like about it? What, what's some of your favorite parts about it? I want to make it easy. Well, like to take right there. Yeah, it does have some easy stuff, doesn't it? You like the videos? You like how it does the video? Thing. The videos are great and we'll show you those as well. And what else do you like about it? What do you get to earn? If you get everything right, what do you earn at the end of a lesson? A section? Your ribbons. You earn, a, if you get 100% mastery through the entire session, um, you, you earn a platinum. If you miss, uh, if you get a certain grade percentage, then you earn a gold and then it goes on down from there. So we're going to take a look at all that in just a second. Okay, so this is the screen when you log in. This is the, the, the home screen um, in a login. And as you see at the top, you have lessons, tasks, and I'll show you that because as a parent, I can set tasks for Luke to do through the week and then he can go to there and see what he's got to do. You have your results, your settings, and your history. Um, as it goes from kindergarten, all the way up to uh, trigonometry and for Luke since he's in the first grade these are some of the things it covers for your numbers patterns and algebra he's got whole numbers addition subtraction uh, multiplication division fractions patterns and money measurements he is going to be going into length area capacity and volume mass and time of course we also have space and geometry with uh, plane shapes, solids, and positions, and then last but not least, statistics and probability with graphs and chance. Now, right now, Luke is in the numbers, patterns, and algebra, and he's almost ready to complete the multiplication. But to give you an idea of kind of how the lessons are, I'm going to go into the subtraction. And the great thing about this program is the last place where Luke left off, um, even if he had to, for some reason, close out in the middle of a lesson, we can, when we go back and we log back in, it immediately starts where we left off. Whether it be we have one question left or five questions left, it's going to start where we left off so we can finish that particular lesson. So as you can see in the subtraction, he did earn a platinum, so that means that he made 100% across the board. Now, once we finish this, is what I always do, is I go up to the diagnostic testing once again and we'll do the comprehensive to kind of go like as, as a review and go over it so you do have that option but I'm going to take you into one to give you an idea so we're going to say counting uh, on to find the difference so here's one of the lessons so as you log in you come to the video okay and we're going to click the video to get it started here and let you just kind of see how that goes find the difference. Let's look at some examples. The first one we've got 9 minus 2. We're going to do this the normal way, the way we've normally done. We can use our hand, starting with 9. So in our mind we're thinking 9. Now we're taking away 2. So we're thinking at 9, we're going to go back 2. So 9, 8, 7. Okay, we've gone back 2. Our answer simply is 7. Alright, we've seen that method before. That's not new. What about this one? 15 take away 4. Well, again, in our mind, we're thinking 15. And we're going to go back 4. So we're thinking 15. Let's go back 4. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Our answer equals 11. The next one, 10 take away 8. We'll need two hands this time. Let's start with 10. We're thinking 10. We're going to take away 8. So here we go, thinking of 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So our answer there equals 2. Okay, we've taken away 8. Now that took us a while. There is a 
So as you can see, it kind of breaks it down and makes it to where they can understand it. And each video is not very long, like this particular video is 2 minutes and 22 seconds and it does go into showing them as well on how to count forward. So if there was 10 takeaway 8, they could start at 8, count up 2. And that's going to say that 10 takeaway 8 is 2 or 8 takeaway 10 is 2. So they do that. Now once it finishes, they can go on, and by the way, this can go full screen. I didn't have it full screen, but it can go full screen. And then after they finish that, we go into the questions. And this is the screen it comes to to start questions. So, you know, if we go in to start questions, once again, it does full screen as well. We can do that. Um, I prefer it long ways. I just think it's easier whenever I put the tablet like this. But Luke always does it this way, so apparently this way is better for him. But you have 11 takeaway 7, which is, of course, 4. So it's what we'll do is we'll hit the 4 here, and then we hit Submit. And after we hit Submit, on the bottom here, you hit your next question, and so it takes you on to the next question. So once again, you have 14 takeaway 7, which is 7. So we'll put 7, Submit, next question. One of our last questions, and it's going to be uh, 9 out of 9, or maybe, no, 10 maybe, I'm not sure. So anyway, we have 27 take away 19 is 8, and we're going to hit submit here, and, okay. So once we hit submit, that was the last question. So we have the option, we can print our results. Or we can do more questions. Now here's the thing with the CTC map. If you do not print it right now, you can't go back and print it later. So that's kind of the downside if you do want to print these things. Um, if, you, if something happens like one day um, the tablet went wonky and shut down and Luke was kind of sad that he couldn't see this part because at the end he likes looking at what he's gotten right. So he likes to look at the overview. So also at that time had I wanted to print the, pro the, the worksheet I could not have because when we had to go back in it's not there. But, as you can see, it's 10 out of 10, you got 100% correct, uh, 1 minute and 37 seconds was the duration, and you can see the problems right here. So this is also really handy, and then you can, like I said, you can print it, or you can go to more questions. Now, so let's say that we're done, so we don't want to go back into there, and so we can go back into our lessons, and it takes us back here. Um, I'm going to go out because I want to be able for Luke to start back where he was. So when he gets on it later, he's going to start with the multiplication by repeat addition. Um, also, I was telling you about the tasks. We can go up here to the tasks. And he has a current task, which is set for today. And that is what he's going to be doing. So I can click on that. And that's telling him that multiplication by repeat addition is what to do today. So he can click on that. And it also says that I'm requiring him to pass a grade of 80% for each lesson. Now, if I felt he was having more problems with it, I would probably set the pass grade a little higher at maybe 85 to 90% in order to pass. But you can put this percentage um, right here, wherever you would like that. And right now, he's kind of flying by. It's pretty easy for him. So we have it at 80%, and I think the lowest he's made is a 90% on one time and he was kind of in a goofy mood and wasn't really paying attention so he did do that and at that particular section he didn't get a platinum ribbon at the end he did get a, a gold ribbon at the end so he can do that we can also go into the results now these results right here show his grades so we can see everything he's done from the whole numbers the diagnostic test here's the addition subtraction and even the multiplication so as a parent and as a student we can we can access this so this is really great also every week they email me and they email me every time um, his work I can see when he logs in I can see the grade he made I can see um, if you watch the video or not I can see how long it took him overall and things like that so that is really nice to have not only can I see it from my laptop but I can also get an email from that that gives me that so that's really nice I can download this in PDF format if I do choose to do that so we'll go here and here's the summary report so um, he did not do the diagnostic test for addition as you can see uh, the diagnostic for the uh, subtraction was 90% and we are currently at the multiplication he's done the diagnostic 
and he's got two of three so he's got to finish that today and then we go on to division so here's kind of a look out of that and then up here at the top we have awards and the awards is where we can see what he's earned as I mentioned um, the one he did not earn so we have in addition and subtraction he's earned a platinum in both of those he has earned a gold in the whole numbers because he ended the lesson at a 96 percent um, if he stays on track with what he's got to finish today then he will also have a platinum in the multiplication but we're not going to count that right now because you know something may happen and he may not understand some of it and he may not make a hundred I mean that's just the way it is so we'll see how that ends but here's what he's done so far in that and then I can go into history and I can see that this is where he's at and then the timeline and this is kind of what I was telling you I can see when he's logged in and um, you know I can see that he logged in at 847 he did the um, he viewed the counting to find the difference he completed the counting to find the difference he was awarded also that same day his platinum certificate for subtraction and he viewed the find the difference in the subtraction so you can see all of this as they go along as well Overall, we really like this program. Um, would I use it as a standalone program? Not so much, only because now probably I would think about it with my fourth grader because the math is pretty awesome, what it does offer. Um, and he actually does um, an online math at the moment. But with my first grader, not so much, only because I feel that with him just started, you know, really writing and stuff in kindergarten last year, that I really want him to still have that practice on writing his numbers, the same as with his writing his letters and words. So, with that being said, we do use additional math products with him to go through this program. And the great thing is, is if you're a homeschooling family, you do save 60% off the, the, the price for the CTC math, and I have that. So, like for a month, you can get the CTC math as a homeschool family for $11.97 and um, if you want to do it for a year it's $78.80 now that's for one child if you have multiple children you're gonna get the better deal because for a month it's $15.97 for multiple children two or more or for 12 months you do get it for $118.80 so, like I said, it's two or more children on that. But overall, we really like it. And I'll put the link down um, in the description below on how to check out for the homeschool. And also, if you want to read more about that. And I'm pretty sure that you can download a sample or view a sampling of it as well to see how you might like it. Thank you.